Am I the bad guy for thinking my 15-year-old sister should consider giving her baby up for adoption? My sister, 15 years old, has always been a bit of a handful. We've had a pretty rough childhood with not much guidance or support. Plus, there's a big age difference between us, which doesn't make things easier. I'm a 23-year-old woman and my boyfriend, also 23, and I have no plans to have kids. I had to step in and help my mom raise my three younger siblings, my 15-year-old sister, 13-year-old brother, and 11-year-old brother. To be honest, that experience was enough to make me never want to have children of my own. I've worked hard to create a life I love, and I'm proud to say I've landed a good full-time job. I'm not financially independent yet, but I'm stable enough to afford groceries and pay my bills without stressing about how I'll make ends meet. Yesterday, my mom texted me with some shocking news my sister is pregnant. They had an ultrasound today, and it turns out she's 26 weeks along and having a baby boy. Before the ultrasound, I was hoping my sister would be less than 24 weeks pregnant, so she would still have the option to terminate the pregnancy if she wanted to. To be honest, I'm shocked she's gone this far without telling anyone as someone who's never been pregnant myself. I can't imagine how she's managed to keep it a secret for so long. Now that termination is no longer an option, my mom has kind of led my sister to believe that she might be able to keep the baby, which I think is a bad idea. I don't live with my family, but they reside in a three-bedroom house provided by a housing agency. The layout is a bit cramped, with my two brothers sharing a room with bunk beds, my sister in a small single room, and my mom occupying the only double room. My mom doesn't have any savings. And to make matters worse, my sibling's father doesn't contribute any financial support. There's no room in the house for baby stuff and no extra money to spare. Plus, my sister is still just a kid herself, living at home with our mom. I haven't talked to my sister much about this because I'm not sure what to say. I'm disappointed in the situation and especially that she kept it a secret for so long. Despite everything, she's still my little sister and I want to support her. But most of all, I want her to have the chance to live her life and enjoy her youth before taking on the big responsibility of being a parent. I'm torn because I want to suggest that my sister consider giving the baby up for adoption. There are so many loving families out there who can't have children and would adore a sweet baby like hers. But I'm afraid if I bring it up, she'll shut me out and push me away. The one silver lining I can see is that if my sister chooses adoption, the baby would have a much better chance at a happy and healthy life with a loving family who can provide a stable home. And honestly, I think if social services gets involved and takes the baby away after the initial checks, it would be even more traumatic for everyone involved. At least with adoption, my sister would have some control over the process and could make the best decision for the baby's future. Whenever I visit my mom and siblings, the house is always a mess. The dishes are piled up surfaces are dirty, and my sister's room is a disaster. She'll leave her dirty bowls and cups in her room for so long that they start to grow mold. It's worrying because if she can't take care of herself and her own space, how can she possibly take care of a newborn baby? I want to make it clear that while I personally think giving up the baby for adoption might be the best option, I would never pressure my sister into doing so. I just want her to know that it's a viable choice, and if she decides to go down that path, she shouldn't feel ashamed. Of course, there will be emotional pain either way, but I'm not sure our mom has fully considered the reality of bringing a new baby into our chaotic home life. I also want to make it clear that I would never try to force or pressure anyone, including my sister, into terminating a pregnancy. My only regret is that she didn't tell us sooner, so she would still have had the option to consider it if she wanted to. I understand that terminating a pregnancy can be incredibly traumatic, and I respect that. My intention was never to push her towards that choice, but rather to support her in having all the options available to her. I'm not naive. I know teenagers make mistakes I was once 15 too and made my share. I'm not trying to lecture or judge. The thing is, I don't know how to approach my sister about this since we're not close. I can only imagine what's going through her mind right now. I want to offer helpful and comforting words, but I'm unsure if she also needs a dose of reality, which mom hasn't provided. My challenge is finding a way to share tough truths kindly without being too harsh. Just to add some more context, we live in the UK, where the education system is structured in a way that makes it difficult for students to balance school with other responsibilities. My sister will have to complete her regular school program, 
as there aren't any alternative night school options available. Most likely, she'll have to repeat a year to give herself a fair shot at passing her exams. I'm willing to lend a hand with the baby from time to time, but I wouldn't go out of my way to do so. For example, I wouldn't cancel my plans to babysit or take on extra responsibilities. Story 2 Was I wrong to tell my brother that he's to blame for being a single dad? My brother, I'm a 33-year-old woman, called me asking for help with the mess he created, but I refused to bail him out. He's a single dad, and I told him it's his own fault. My brother, 44 years old, did something really stupid. He cheated on his wife, 42 years old. My sister-in-law, I found out about it just last week, and I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. To be honest, I never thought he'd do something like this, but he did. Now, I see him in a different light. I'm really close to my sister-in-law, and she's an amazing person, so I'm struggling to understand why my brother would throw away their relationship like this. My brother and sister-in-law have two beautiful kids together, but he's thrown away their happy family for no good reason. It's honestly selfish and disrespectful. When I confronted him, he tried to blame Shift and claimed it wasn't his fault. He even said that men are naturally wired to chase other women and get a thrill from it. I couldn't believe he'd say something so ridiculous. My sister-in-law is going through a really tough time and it broke my heart to hear her crying when she first called me about what happened. What's even more shocking is that my brother was secretly seeing another woman for years and I just found out he even had a child with her. I had no idea about any of this until now. Cheating is one of the most painful things someone can experience and I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. Right now, my brother and sister-in-law are still technically married, but they're living apart. They need to finalize their divorce to put an end to all this drama. To be honest, I'm at a loss for what to do in this situation. My brother is already basically a single dad, and it'll be official once the divorce is finalized. The whole family is furious with my brother, and we have every right to be. Now, he's got another baby to take care of, which is the root of our conflict. Apparently, the mother of his child is ignoring his calls, and honestly, I'm not surprised. She's probably had enough of his lies and cheating too. What did he think would happen? He went on and on, complaining that he didn't know what to do and that the mom wasn't picking up his calls. I told him to leave me alone, that this mess was his own fault. Am I the bad guy for saying that? 